Okay, everybody. Hello. It is, what is today? Today is Thursday, May 18th. It is 1042 p.m. I wanted to share a journal entry about me investing too quickly. That's what I titled it, investing too quick. Um, and I'm in the closet. That doesn't matter. It's here nor there. But I really wanted to also video my, like just this level of awareness that I've now let me see if I can put you guys here. No, I can't. All right, well, we're going to be like this. So this level of awareness that I have now achieved. And today I... Hold on, give me a minute. Okay, there we go. Today I made another investment. Another, And when I say that, whenever you hear me talk about investing, I'm not... I'm not talking like my stocks or anything, which we'll get there. I am talking about coaching, life coaching, personal development, mentorship, that kind of stuff. And so I invested in a new um, coach, if you will. Uh, her name is Aria. And we've I've been connected with her for about, about six months now, which is interesting. And I just really like her energy. But this is not about her. But by just joining her, show the fuck up. Men, uh, program whatever you want to call it she literally already helped me unlock something and I didn't even like sit one-on-one -on -one with her it's just like listening through the coursework and so I wanted to read my journal entry on camera um I'll also make this as a blog that's the content creator side of me of how I'm going to repurpose this because I literally just wrote from the heart what is my like hang up if you will of like investing too quick right we're going to say that in quotes so here it goes i have this judgment that keeps coming up every time i invest in a new mentor or coaching the judgment is damn leslie you're investing again and you haven't even made six figures isn't it too soon shouldn't you and i'll say this sentence again i i am I'm a little tired eyes but the judgment is damn leslie you're investing again and you haven't made six figures yet but the yet because it's coming isn't it too soon? And it's multiple six figures. Okay, let me keep reading. Shouldn't you wait until you make the return on your investments? Are you addicted to coaching, seeking out help? Maybe you need to take a few months and actually apply what these people are telling you. Wait, what is it that you're really looking for each time you make that decision to invest again? But you want to know something that's really interesting about that? So all those questions I just asked myself. Each time I've invested in a coach, I have, I have applied at least one thing they've said, if not everything, because I am an A student at heart and I put my entire trust into each coach I invest in. And that's a key. That's a gem. That's whatever you want to call it, DJ Khaled, whatever you like, <laughs> you know, like that's a key. It's like putting your entire trust in into this individual but not in a way that you're gonna play victim and blame the the person that has created this space for you it's just like i am trusting you i'm having an open mind right so that's every time every time i invest i'm like i completely trust you i'm gonna do everything you say because i know you created this in a specific way so that i can achieve my wildest dreams you don't necessarily see the transaction like if you bought a bag or a f fancy vacation, but, and I put like three T's, coaching is similar to a fancy vacation because there's a feeling you get. Like think about a fancy vacation you've been on. You're like, oh, I want to go back. And it's really goes down to, boils down to the feeling. It was the feeling you had. It's the memories you created. That's what it was that made you want to go back. And that's how I feel with coaching. It's like a feeling that I get when I hit a next level of awareness. When I, when I get higher, my vibration gets higher and higher and higher. You see? Um, you can't necessarily pinpoint it, but you find yourself wanting that same feeling over and over again. Since grade school, I have been the conscientious student. The student who always wants to do her best just because, really. And that was we're processing like literally i'm processing my life with you all right now as i reflect on my childhood in school and even college i always wanted to be the best no matter what and i'm still um oh i'm still trying to figure out why but that's the feeling i've always had i've always had like i don't know 
all the layers to that. But I just know I've always had to be the best. I've had to be the best. I need to be the best. I am the best. Being the best has now translated into my business. I have, I have to be the best. And being my best is for my people, for who I serve. There are more people that need to hear me say the same things that I feel like I keep hearing. It's my unique energy that will convey to my audience what needs to be said so they can be set free. As I'm writing this, I'm processing and realizing that I'm learning how to really tap into my intuition. And my brain can't keep up. And right now, my fingers can't keep up with my brain. Lord, Lord have mercy. I have to get this out. I have to. It's been something that's been on my mind for the past few months, especially when more and this part is ooh, a little, I don't know if I'll share this, especially when more and more people reach out, like people DM me, they, you know, I see you, Leslie, and congratulate me on all the great things I'm doing, but I don't have the money to show yet. I physically cringe. Like I do. I almost cringe when people congratulate me and they're like, I see you, Leslie. And I am screaming internally because I'm like, do you see my bank account? Because that shit is hella empty. Shout out to having two kids in daycare, mortgage, all of the things that we're all going through, right? But I'm this crazy person. I'm not going to say crazy person. I just know. Like I know. And I don't even have like a full vision, everybody. But I just know like... I meant for more but that part was really embarrassing to say like and and what is that what is that Leslie where it's like anytime somebody's like I see you like I every time every time especially if I do a local networking event because Orlando is very small right and everybody knows the who's who like it's fairly small here people are like oh I see you I know you I've seen you online like my algorithm algorithms for me right and so it's like, okay, I'm doing all the things that these social media strategists say to do. Like, what is the hang up? And I know the hang up now as I'm processing this isn't in the journal entry. It's that I'm not tapping fully into like my fullest potential, right? Um, so shout out to again to Aria. Um, I think her last name is Lighty. I don't want to mispronounce her last name for unlocking this part of me. It's a very vulnerable side to share, but I know this will help someone. The numerous investments that I have made haven't shown tenfold yet financially, but they have shown in other ways, such as how boldly I show up online. It's not even about being consistent for me. And that word, trash. Because of coaching, I have unlocked my boldness, my power, my intuitive power. That allows me to feel more connected with myself, more in tune with myself. And I like to say right here, it doesn't necessarily feel the best, like when you're in tune with yourself. But the more in tune I am with myself, the more I realize I have to say, the more I realize like I have things that I need to say and share to my social medias. Once you connect with your intuition, posting really becomes easy. It's just like, it's cake. It's, and it's fun for me. It's also the way my confidence has skyrocketed since investing numerous, numerous times in succession, back to back to back. That's because of all the investments I have made to date. So when people, I didn't write this, but when people, um, which I actually made a post about this, when people are like, how do you do it? How, how, how? Part of the how is the thousands of dollars that I have invested in, right? That's part of the how. And not a lot of people are are ready to make that that investment because they are like I don't have money right now when I this when I that but the way that like God and manifestation and like being your fullest self works is like God has to see you doing the thing now to for you to for him to take you seriously like he has to see you doing the thing being your future self now him the universe your whoever it is and then he will bless you abundantly, tenfold, infinity fold, right? So that, so that, the confidence I've gained, the boldness, that's the return on investment for me. And I get a little goosebumpy. My confidence, my boldness, my bravery. Child, let me go. And then I said, like, I need to go take a vulnerability nap because... It was really vulnerable for me to share with you all, like, the money, the math ain't mathing right now. And it's scary. It's really scary. But I keep seeing certain messages, and it could be my algorithm. I'm not going to say it's my algorithm. I'm going to bring you guys closer. I'm going to say that it's it's God. It's the universe sharing with me that it's coming, Leslie. It's coming. 
stay steadfast or whatever the word is like stay consistent consistent is not just for social media it really isn't when you stay consistent in all areas of life you get rewarded i'm gonna go who knows if i post this on my youtube i probably will nobody really want let me stop have a good night I can't wait to watch this in a few years. Again, it is May 18th, 2023. I cannot wait to watch this. I'm having this moment of like my future self watching this right now. It's really, it's really eerie. And me just like crying because I continued to trust myself and I never gave up on me I never gave up on me all right I'll talk to you guys in the next video bye